Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsforay.com. Today the topic of our discussion is the life cycle of Rhizopus, the common black bread mold that is causing spoilage of bread and other foodstuffs. So this is a microscopic view of these black patches. So let's see the life cycle. In the case of Rhizopus, there are two mating types. It is designated as plus mating type and minus mating type. Step 1 mating of plus and minus hyphae then the point of contact swells and bulges out forming a club shaped structure many nucleus along with protoplasm moves to the side step 2 that is formation of two gametangia forming a cross wall you can see this is this nucleus are red in color that is of plus strain and this is somewhat blue in color that is minus strain so a cross wall is formed forming two gametangia one is of plus strain and other gametangia of minus strain then step three is the formation of psychosporangia as a cross wall breaks this nucleus comes in a common mass of protoplasm plasmogamy occurred then the structure is called as zygosporangia now both the nucleus of both mating types are in a common protoplasm Step 4 and 5, this zygosporangia forms a thick resistant wall and remain dormant. It can remain dormant for 2 to 3 months to tide over the unfavorable condition. Meanwhile, the nuclei of the opposite strain fuse to form a diploid nuclei. That is, karyogamy occurs. And step 6, on germination of this or zygospore, the diploid nuclei undergoes meiosis forming haploid nuclei and the psychospore germinates by forming a sporangiophore and these nucleus are migrated to the tip forming a sporangium and later this transforms into haploid spores of which 50% are of plus strain and the rest 50% are of minus strain. And these spores are released by the breakage of this sporangial wall and on falling on suitable substratum, this develops into new hyphae and mycelium. And this is the sexual cycle in Rhizopus. In the case of asexual reproduction, and this is a mycelium, mycelium forms a sporangiophore or a stalk, and a sporangium is formed at the tip. Numerous nucleus along with dense protoplasm moves to this site, and later this transforms into spore. And you can see this this is a fertile region where the periphery forms the spore containing region and inner to that there is a region which is called as columella which is a sterile region that supports this sporangium also transport food to these developing spores so on breakage of these sporangial wall the spores are released and falling on suitable substratum it germinates to form new mycelium Regarding the structure of this fungus, it is having a horizontal hyphae which is called a stolon and there is a rhizoid that penetrates into the substratum meant for attachment and absorption and from that there comes a sporangiophore on the tip sporangium is formed. And spores are released, very minute spores, it can germinate very easily on falling on suitable substratum. Hope this much is clear. This is Yasut Hanifi and you are with biologyexamsforay.com. Thank you so much for your support.